Hi, my name is Jason. I want to show you how you can draw an image behind another image in Video Scribe. It's not a default feature of Video Scribe, but with the right tools it can be done. Let me show you how. On the screen, there are two drawings to give you an idea what you will learn. First, I draw the couple. Next, I draw the house behind the couple. Video Scribe can't draw an image behind another image. Instead, Video Scribe will draw the house first, then draw the couple in front of the house. This is not what we want. Later, I will show you why Video Scribe draws like it does. You may also pick up some other tips during our journey. If you are ready to start this Video Scribe journey, I'm ready to teach you. Next, I will explain why Video Scribe draws the way it does. Earlier, I said I'd show you why Video Scribe draws the house first, then the couple. If you take a look at the timeline, you will see how Video Scribe draws. It draws from left to right in sequential order, in one continuous line. This means it will not draw the couple behind the house. What happens if we switch them on the timeline? Now the house is on top of the couple. Let's draw and see what happens. It draws the girl first, but it also draws the house on top of the couple, not behind it. Okay. Hopefully by now you understand how Video Scribe draws. Now that you understand how Video Scribe draws, it's time to think out of the box for a solution to overcome what Video Scribe can't do by default. One more thing before we start to put together the steps involved to draw an image behind another image. I need to make sure you have the appropriate tools for this project. If you do, you'll be all set to begin. Next, we'll discuss the tools you need for this project. I use three tools, Video Scribe, of course, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. You can substitute Illustrator and Photoshop with similar apps. I hear that Inkscape is a good replacement for Illustrator and GIMP is a good replacement for Photoshop. Both Inkscape and GIMP are free. I never used Inkscape or GIMP, so I can't answer questions on how to use. Illustrator and Inkscape are vector editors. Photoshop and GIMP are raster editors. For this type of project, your vector editor has to be able to save images in SVG and PNG format, which should not be a problem. In this class, you will see me use Illustrator to save images as PNG and SVG files. I don't use Photoshop on this project, but I have used it many times, mostly on images that clients send me. Most clients' images are in raster format, especially their logos. If you are going to get into whiteboard, you'll need a raster editor like Photoshop or GIMP. I mostly work with SVG, AI, and EPS files. They are all in vector format, broken down into layers, making it easier to manipulate. Raster images are usually flat files and have one layer. Many times I will have to use a raster editor like Photoshop to create my own layers to work on. Usually, I can be much more creative with vector images versus raster images. Again, I use three tools, Video Scribe, Illustrator, and Photoshop. You can easily substitute Illustrator and Photoshop with other editors to accomplish what I show you in this class. In this project, I will use Video Scribe and Illustrator to show you how to draw an image behind another image. So if you have those tools, you are all set to learn how to draw an image behind another image in Video Scribe. If you are ready, let's do it. 